What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter V Ryu. Now Ryu is the first figure in the line. In case you haven't checked out any other of my previous SH Figure Arts reviews, go ahead and check those out. But anyway, here we do have Ryu in the packaging. You can see we have a nice image of the actual figure right here. We do have Ryu himself right here as well as two alternate face sculpts, alternate hands, his Hadouken effect, and his headband. Well, the back of his headband. On the side, we have this really nice image of Ryu from the promotional art of Street Fighter V. He is the first figure in the uh, Street Fighter line. On the side, we, on the back, we have an image of Ryu, and just various posing options we can get him into, as well as Chun-Li. We also do get some stats right here for Ryu. And then on this side, it just says he is num figure number one, and it says his name. So, really loving the packaging, so what we're going to do now is take a little break, get him open up, and then we'll go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Ryu out of the packaging, and before we get on to the figure, let's actually show off his accessories. Like with Chun-Li, we do get two cardboard cutouts to replicate this backdrop. You can see it is really nicely detailed. It's just a printed piece of cardboard. There's really nothing too special about it, but you do get two, and combined they make a really lovely image. And I believe that's Ryu's Arena from Street Fighter V. I don't know, I haven't played Street Fighter V. But again, gives you a really nice display option when you have the figures ready to fight. So it is nice that they threw this in. They didn't have to include these, but they did. But that's, for the, that's it for the backdrop, so let's move on to his other accessories. Ryu's next accessory is alternate faces. Now, it's not technically an alternate face. We do get these. He comes with three alternate heads, and I do mean that quite literally. They're different head sculpts, and the way that this works is that you just pull off the hair, and then you switch out for the face that you want to use. And then his... Headband is also a separate piece, so you just choose the head that you want to have on where you take off the hair, the headband piece, and then you attach it onto the head. But we do get his normal face, as the instructions say, this is the normal face. We do get a clenching face, which looks really nice. And then we have a yelling face, and these are just according to the what the instructions say. We have the yelling face, clinching face, and regular face. I'm going to say they did a pretty good job. Uh, it doesn't look too much like Ryu from Street Fighter V, but it does look like Ryu. But anyway, that's his head sculpts for you, so let's move on to his next accessory. Ryu does come with a total of two pairs of hands. We do have his clenched fists, and then we do have two open palmed hands. And unfortunately, that's all you get with Ryu. We don't get any alternate hands besides his open palm and the fist hands. So most of your posing is limited to punches and style pose or the Hadouken. But it's a, the gloves are really nice. The paint is, that they use is this really glossy red. And there is some black wash to go into it or some black airbrush. So that looks pretty cool, and then you can see it is nicely detailed with the black around the fingers. So that's Ryu's fist for you, so what we're going to do now is move on to his final accessory. Ryu's final accessory is his Hadouken. Now, I, we do have the Hadouken here. It does come on its own little stand. Like with Chun-Li, we did get a stand for her lightning kick for Ryu. We do get a peg, a clear translucent peg, and the Hadouken effect itself. You just find where the peg goes in, attach it, and there we have the Hadouken. So let's actually get Ryu posed firing the Hadouken just so you can see what it looks like. And then we have Ryu firing his Hadouken right here, which looks really cool, and you can actually have it posed like this. My only complaint is that it feels like this is kind of short. Like, you really had to crouch Ryu down to make it look like he's firing the Hadouken. Because, I don't know, it just seems like you really, really have to have him crouching to have him firing the Hadouken. And I don't see him going down this low. I might, it just might be that I haven't played Street Fighter in such a long time that maybe it, that is how it goes. And then it just travels along 
until I hit something. But still, really nice effect. Glad that they included it. So what we're going to do now is actually get Ryu standing up and move on to his actual review so we can go on to his details and articulation. And with Ryu standing nice and straight, let's actually show off his detail. Let's start at his head. Now, like I mentioned when I was talking about his head sculpt, there just is something off about his head. I don't know what it is, but the face just doesn't look like the in-game Street Fighter V model. Don't get me wrong, it looks like Ryu, but the game that it's based off of, it really doesn't look like Street Fighter V Ryu. It does look like Ryu, but not Street Fighter V. Maybe, maybe Street Fighter Two, maybe Street Fighter Three, but definitely not V. But still, it like I said, it does look like Ryu, and I do like that. The headband is nicely painted, and you can see his eyebrows going over his headband, which is really cool. Or really funny, I think. And you can see his tattered gi right here. Now, there is detail in the gi. Let's see if I can show that off a little bit. The shirt on his gi has this really nice texture that... It just looks really nice when you actually see it in hand. It's subtle that you you really don't notice it looking at it from a distance, but when you get it up close, it looks really nice, and that continues even onto the sl tattered sleeve part right here. You can see he does have his martial arts style gloves right here, and they are this really glossy red. His belt with the kanji right here, that looks pretty cool. And then we get to down to his legs, which it doesn't have any of the same sculpting that his gi does, which is a little unfortunate. I kind of wish they continued that detailing all the way throughout his costume. It definitely would have brought out a little more details in Ryu. And then you can see his tattered gis are torn right here at the feet. His little seam running down. And then they even have the seam running on the inside, so that's a lot of nice detail there. Overall, I think it's a really great figure, that, and the detailing is all there, and let's actually go on to his articulation really fast. And Ryu does have a lot of articulation, and let's actually show off exactly what Ryu can do from head to toe. He does have a ball-jointed head. He can look up about that far, down about that far, can tilt his head side to side, as well as swivel. We do get a swivel joint right here at the... Headband, you can see it does move and you can swivel that around. Unfortunately, it's just a swivel, so no hinging it out, but it is a soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about that looking too awkward, but it does look cool when it's flowing to one side. And then we also get a ball joint here at the neck, so Ryu can actually move his head quite a bit around, and I just ripped his hair off. But you can get his head posed any way you wanted. His neck goes down about that far. It goes back that much. Tilts to the side, to the other side. So, again, just generally really good range of movement in the neck. His arms are on that standard SH figure. It's ball hinge. It's a ball joint going into the torso onto a hinging joint right here. So we do get the arms going out to about that far. Not any further because... The way his shoulders are sculpted, that's as far as you go. But you can move his arm all around on that joint. As you can see, it was really nice. We get forward, back, up, down movement. And then we also do get a butterfly joint with Ryu, which brings his arm forward even more. So that's pretty cool. And then you can see even the gi comes out to cover up any gapping that might happen. He does have a bicep swivel, swivel in that for in that shoulder joint, so it is there. He is double jointed in the elbow, and then we also do get a swivel here in the elbow. I know the WWE SH figure arts have this as well as the Kirikuman figures, and then we do have that hinging ball joint, so it's, we do have a ball peg right here that the hand connects to, and then a hinge, which means we can hinge the hand in and out, or we can turn that joint to have it move up and down. So really good range of movement just in his arms. Really glad that this is there so we're not just relying on this shoulder joint. He does have a ball jointed torso which goes back about that far. 
forward about that far, it doesn't really lean side to side and doesn't really get much turning movement in it. And it is hard to get to because of his gi. But then we also do get a ball joint right here. Down. And I don't know why on mine... There we go. It took a while to get it to go forward, but it went forward. And then... Well, that's one way to get to the joint. You can see now I can move his joint forward and back, side to side. The only thing is it does create some gapping, as you can see, but the little part down here is a separate piece, so you can cover that up. Let's try to get them all aligned. Legs do go forward and back. They go out to about that far. does have a thigh swivel. He bends at the knee as well as spins at the knee. He sw swivels right here underneath his gi, so his ankle does spin. We do get a hinge ankle that goes forward that far, back that far, forward facing pin for rocker, so it actually goes really far in both directions, so that's really cool. And then we get a hinge in the foot, but the hinge only goes to about there, and not an impressive toe hinge, but it is there in case you want it. But anyway, that's Ryu for you. So what we're going to do now is get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Ryu posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I am really impressed with this figure. I actually think I like Chung Li a little better, but Ryu is still a really impressive figure here. And I really am liking this figure a lot, and despite the fact it doesn't look much like the Street Fighter V Ryu, I really do like it. Uh, this is more than likely going to be the Ryu I have in my Smash display. And I forgot to actually show off exactly how big he is. And I'll show that off when we compare him next to the Storm Collectibles Ryu. But overall, I really do like the way this Ryu came out. I do like the way the Hadouken works. Although, I kind of wish that he came with something to put in his hands. Like he's charging the Sh Shinku Hadouken. But as it stands, really nice figure. The only thing that would have made this figure better is if he came with a flight stand. Now that flight stand would be useful for his Tatsumaki kick as well as the Shoryuken, but I do have a flight stand, so it's not a big deal that it wasn't included with this Ryu. But anyway, if you are a fan of Street Fighter or want a really awesome Ryu figure and you missed out on previous re releases for the... Street Fighter figures like the Soda and the NECA. This is actually a really good find to your collection, and I'm really glad I picked them up. Makes me excited to pick up other Street Fighter V figures from SH Figures. But with that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews. All my SH Figure reviews are also up there, so go ahead and check those out. And while you're at it, let me know what you guys think of Ryu down in the dis in the comments. As always, if there's a figure you guys would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And I'll do my best to bring it to you guys if it fits in my collection. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. My